A proposal to impose a so-called latte levy on throwaway coffee cups has been rejected by the government. MPs on the Environmental Audit Committee had suggested a charge of 25p for disposable coffee cups to reduce their use. But ministers say it's better for shops to offer voluntary discounts to customers bringing their own cups. Roger Harabin reports. What do you do with your used cappuccino cup? Should you throw it in the rubbish or try to recycle it? MPs on the Environmental Audit Committee said coffee shops should be charged 25p for every cup they sell that can't be fully recycled. The government doesn't like the idea. Ministers say they're not convinced that the recycling industry can handle supposedly recyclable cups that are actually covered in cold cappuccino froth. They said it's better for coffee shops to offer discounts to people bringing their own coffee mugs. I think we need to see a variety of different solutions. Um, it's great to see retailers starting to take action, but that shouldn't be um, at the expense of the government also showing leadership. The MPs say this suggests the government's not really serious about tackling the problem of waste. Roger Harabin, BBC News. Well, Grant Davis sits on the Environmental Audit Committee. He joins me from our Swansea studio. Good afternoon to you. Good afternoon. Well, your recommendation went through and it's been rejected. Yeah, it's very disappointing. There's uh, two and a half billion of these cuts being produced every year. There's half a million of them thrown on the floor every day and only one in 400 is recycled. Something must be done. We're proposing a levy. Obviously, people can then choose to bring uh, reusable cups themselves and that's something that's being pursued elsewhere. And Michael Gove's response to this is frankly pathetic. Yeah, but your stick approach, uh, the government suggested a carrot approach where there's a voluntary scheme where if you take a, a reusable cap along and fill it, you, you get charged less. That makes just as much sense, doesn't it? Well, that's already happening on a voluntary basis and amounts to the same. If you go along with your uh, cup and you pay 25p less, and the alternative is paying 25p more, that is a 25p charge. I think Michael goes just sort of playing around here. We want a 25p charge that you won't have to pay if you bring your own cup along. Uh, he's not going to propose any particular change to, to, until 2042. By 2050, there'll be more plastic in the sea than fish. This is ridiculous. We need to act. He's just trying to pretend he's in favour of the environment, but he's doing nothing. Well, maybe he takes the view we're probably paying enough for our coffee already. Well, obviously people don't like paying extra money, but they're, they're willing to adapt their way. So historically, obviously, everybody used China cups. People are capable of bringing their own reusable cups. In Germany, all councils are, people working in council are provided with these reusable cups, and they're eliminating all, all the plastic cups. They're eliminating all the plastic cups in the BBC. It isn't rocket science, but we are destroying the world. Something must be done, and it's no use Michael Gove saying he's going to do something, then not doing it until 2014 when the EU is acting by 2030 to have all plastic cups either reusable or recyclable. Was that uh, tax the only option, the only recommendation you came forward through with, or were there other things that you, you were possibly considering? I mean, it, it seems a bit strange, and I, I know the reasons why, but that we're not able to recycle these cups on an everyday basis. Yeah, well obviously we're throwing the ball at the manufacturer to come up with schemes maybe whereby there's a plastic inner and a, and a re removable uh, paper outer so these things can be separated and recycled. Uh, instead, they're bonded together and, they're, and the manufacturers are saying, oh no, we can't work it out. Well, they need to work it out and we're giving them the incentives to do so. Obviously, if people are desperate to use uh, non-recyclable cups, they simply pay 25p more. Uh, if, the, if the manufacturers come forward with recyclable cups, they won't pay the 25p, or people can provide their own reusable cups. It's not rocket science. The amount of plastic cups, uh, non-reusable cuts, produced in Britain stretch each year stretch, would stretch around the world four and a half times. It's just getting absolutely out of hand. We need to act. And it's no use um, Michael Gove watching David Attenborough and saying he can't sleep at night. He needs to do something about it or move aside and get someone in who will do something. Grant Davis, thank you very much for joining us.